Hello, my name is Magnus, and I've just recently created a light table plugin for Buster.js. And Buster.js is a really nice testing framework for running uh, JavaScript tests in either the browser or in Node.js. The plugin uh, currently only supports running browser tests, but it will support Node tests in the near future. To start off with, I thought I'd run you through a couple of the features that the plugin currently supports. So, I've created a sample project, an empty implementation file, an empty test file, and a Buster.js configuration file. So, let's run you through the configuration file quickly. Basically, you specify a name for your configuration. You specify the location of your sources, and the sources property is basically an array list, and it will load the sources in the order specified. And it also supports uh, in globing patterns. Test helpers, helper functions or assertions or whatever you need uh, for your tests, I've just used it for defining a couple of global variables. Tests is the specification of where your test code resides, and again, it's an array list which supports glob patterns. And finally, there's the environment property which supports either browser or node, and the plugin only supports browser, so I've set it to browser. So let's open the test and implementation files. Like so. So let's start with uh, writing a really, really simple test. So I've created a couple of templates, and one of them is to create a new test case. So I guess you can see where this is going. New test. And cluster comes with some nice assertions. One of them is assert equals. Okay, let's try and run this test then. And it failed. Not surprisingly, because I haven't actually written the implementation yet. Um, a couple of things happened though. It did start a Buster server in the background, and that server will be kept running, so it's ready for the next test run. And it captured the browser so that um, Buster can run the tests in a browser. And it just basically captured the inbuilt Chromium browser in the light table. Alright, let's do something about the implementation. So let's see if we can write a fairly simple implementation for this. Oops, sorry. Okay. So with some luck. It works. All right, and you might have noticed there's a small button in the right-hand corner, um, and if you click it, you enable uh, the li uh, Buster Live mode. It's not really live; it actually just triggers a test run whenever you save the file. In the future, it might be more live than that, actually running things as you change. Uh, it saves you a couple of key presses, so it's not too bad. All right, so now it's in live mode, so when I save it, it will run the tests automatically. And clear the results. 
if I do something really stupid, like, uh, I don't know, something like that, where i isn't defined, so it complains that i isn't defined. Fair enough. Okay, so you've seen the light mode. So, what if you have many test cases in your project and you want to be able to run all of your tests? Well, then you need to connect your project. So, I'll just quickly stop this for you first. So, Lighttable comes with a connect bar and we've added a connect option for connecting to Buster. When I click this, I basically am asked to provide the location of my Buster configuration file. So I specify here Buster.js and it connects to Buster and it starts the server. So you can see here in the console out, it is run on localhost 11. So when you have that in place, you should be able to run all the tests for your project. We only have one, but if you have more, it will run all the tests. And not very exciting, but it writes the results to the console. And you can also write console messages. Run the test again. Yeah, it prints out the loader. So that's pretty much what I was going to show you. And finally, I'm sorry, you will see that my project is connected here. Disconnect. Okay, that pretty much concludes the demo for now. Uh, hope it intrigued you a little bit, and there are plenty more features coming in the future, so thank you for listening.